Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shehab Dool. I'm a cybersecurity engineer and robotic enthusiast. Today's lesson is uh, case number four. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a smart backup car with Python and MakerBlock Embot 2. First, let's talk about the code. The code imports necessary libraries and modules and defines a function that execute when a button press even is detected. When the button is pressed, the robot plays two set of tones with the different frequencies. After that, the code start, uh, starts an infinity loop that check if there is any obstacle within a 10 centimeter range using an ultrasonic sensor. If an obstacle is detected, the robots move backward for 30, uh, 30 centimeter, turns on the LED to red, plays two set of tones with a frequency of 400 uh, hertz of 0.2 seconds. And after that, it's going to wait for uh, 0.5 seconds and then turns to 90 degrees. If no obstacle is detected, the robot moves forward for 60 centimeter. Uh, actually, move forward for uh, uh, 60 uh, speed and turns on the LED to green and repeat the loop with uh, the delay of 0 0.1 seconds between uh, iterations. Now let's jump into the editor and build the code. Let me go ahead, okay. So we are in the code editor. First, I'm going to do this, uh, I'm going to connect. I already connect my USB to the Cyber PI Embo 2 Neo. So now what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to go to the, oh, I'm in the Python. So I'm going to Python, actually Python, I always misspell that. Um, so this is for my reference you don't need to type anything so the code is ember 2 neo and the series is obstacle avoidance python code and series um this is my name she abdul and the obstacle avoidance python code and series this will be the last one i'm going to use for the over avoidance next few uh coding lessons I'm going to use these and plus um, line sensors and few other sensors and I'm going to use a uh, use as a Ember 2 Python coding series not going to use this because um, I think I had created four lessons with this for the obstacle avoidance how to use a different way so next series will be a different different uh, I think more it's going to be more advanced and this is my channel uh, channel link today's date is 27th I'm going to use today's date is 27th okay so this will be case for build a smart backup car with python and makerblock embo 2 and i'm going to use this one if you like uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel uh, it will make my channel grow and I can create more uh, rich content. Okay, let's jump to the code and let's start type. Okay, let me uh, set up my keyboard. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's do this. We're going to use import and build. We're going to use the import all the modules. Uh, import actually, import mbot mbot2 so we're going to import the uh, mbot2 module and next one i'm going to import um, event and i'm going to import actually time and last one is cyber pi so all these are importing necessary modules and libraries for this uh, code for this lesson 
Okay, we're done with the importing modules and libraries. Now let's start our first one. Code is event is press a. So this that listen for the a button press event. So in the import new cyber pi press a. Uh, this will going to start. Actually, this is def is btn. Btn means button. Press. I'm going to use this. So these functions that execute when the button is pressed. Next one is I'm going to use global. Uh, this will be the first one we're going to use this code because the reason we didn't use this. So this one will give you two uh, the sound frequencies when it starts up. So global frequency, okay. So this define in a global variable for frequencies. And after that we say for count in range, I'm going to use two. So for count in range two is a loop to play two set of tones when the button is pressed. Okay, and after that, I'm going to use Cyber PI audio play tone. Uh, I'm going to use 801. Okay, so Cyber PI audio play tone 801. So the play tone with the frequency 800 hertz for one second. Next one is Cyber PI Audio Play Tone. I'm going to use 201. Okay, so this one is tone with frequency 200 hertz for one second. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to a uh, loop while uh, true so this is the starting in an infinity loop now next is I'm going to say if M build ultrasonic to get um, going to use the ultrasonic to get and I'm going to use 10 centimeters so this one will check if ultrasonic sensor detect uh, detects an obstacle closer than 10 centimeter okay and after that M2 backward I'm going to use 30 uh, the speed but uh, to backward 30 so so now um move the robot backward for 30 centimeter okay um action is not 30 centimeter back for 30 speed okay uh, let me go ahead and next one is I'm going to use cyber pi led on so I'm going to use the so when the uh, ember to back uh, backward um, I'm going to tell turn on the led to red to red color okay so be ready to turn red so next I'm going to use for count in range I'm going to use two so for count in range two is that loop to play two set of tones when obstacle detected uh, so when obstacle detect is going to play two set of tones okay 
So I'm going to use that tool. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the Cyber PI audio play tone. I'm going to use 400 hertz 4.02 seconds. Yeah. So Cyber PI audio play tone 400. To, so play a tone with frequency of 400 for uh, 0 0.2 seconds. Now I'm going to do is we're going to use the time sleep. Oops. Uh, time sleep. And I'm going to use 0.5. So I'm going to say uh, wait for 0 0.5 seconds. Okay, so and I'm going to say zero, wait for 0 0.5 seconds and ember 2 uh, turn for 90 degrees. So, so I will play turn, sleep and turn for 90 degrees. Else, now we come to the else option. So else, if that didn't, if that didn't happen, if no obstacle detected, so we're going to tell Ember two forward, buddy, for sixty second, actually sixty, sixty miles per hour, sixty speed. Okay, you can change these numbers sixty, go for sixty or fifty or whatever the project you like to do. Uh, even the backwards you can change and even the ultrasonic sensor can change whatever the needs I mean you can change anything and you know you can do your own testing and do your own project so I'm going to move forward with 60 and I'm going to say cyber PI please LED on green so hey cyber pi led on wound when you're forward so we know you're in the green forward so you can change anything you want I, I like to say green or you can say yellow so so and after that i'm going to say uh this will be our end of uh code time sleep i'm going to type that I'm going to use 0 0.1 so now wait for 0 0.1 seconds before repeating the loop you can see this is the loop and each ending loop wait for 0 0.1 and start the loop okay so we are done with the code and what we need to do here is now let's see the code in action okay i'm going to your connect i'm going to upload i'm going to see if i receive any error okay i'm going to turn it on the embot uh, neo need to turn it on to upload the code okay if in the uh, off position the code not going to upload now while in your uploading and you turn it on it will stuck wait for a few seconds maybe a one minute okay because while i click upload uh, Embod Neo was off position and I just turn it on. So now the upload you just try to detect and just turn it on and it's getting confused. It's going to fail. Or you can close this and upload again. Now it just upload. Okay, now we have a shoe here. It's invalid syncs line 21. Okay, so 21 is this one. So let me check 21 cyber pi audio play uh, tone 801 so what i'm missing here let me see so we see everything oh really so i always you know misspell so i, I believe you will do the same thing uh, so if you see like this line 21 in here 
so syntax error invalid syntax so that's me line 21 if you don't see any issues i mean all the spellings are correct i think in the up you can need to always go up and see that one also correct so i'm missing this colon see now should be good i hope so let me check line 28 let me see line 28 yeah for count range we missing the same my goodness how am i missing a lot of stuff now um let me see again oh everything looks great let me clear this up so i always clear this up and upload and you will see a new messages if you so i don't have any issues here so seems like the code is perfect and now you can safely run the code if you see any issues in here any error messages try to you know go through the uh, code and see if you're missing anything mm. Let me uh, test this out okay yeah so if you have any issues if you need any more information please comment uh, on the down uh, so I can help you I hope you find this video helpful and if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one